Hey, I'm live. Snuck up on me there. Um, waiting for the end of No Mercy here. I'm going to wait for people to uh, hop on. I am uh, pulling up the live video on my computer so I can actually see these questions rolling in. I might need to turn this down because uh, I don't want to get hit with like a claim from the WWE. So let me go ahead and... I can't turn it down. What the frick? What the frick? All right, I turned it down. Shout out to the Young Bucks, by the way. Too sweet me. Bam! Uh, so, let me pull this sucker up on my computer so I can see these questions. I see a lot of people. Whoa, we got 29 people already. How about that? So, if you did not see my Facebook post um, previewing what I was going to be talking about, I am, well, I guess you could kind of tell by the title what I'm doing. I'm going to be unboxing this, the Luke Landspeeder. Uh, unboxing that, showing you some Titans Return Transformers figures, showing you a couple NECA figures which I got in trade. How the, how the frick is Braun bleeding? I haven't been watching this very much because I've been setting up this live feed, but how did this happen? Because Braun was like beating him down. Now he's, uh, I can't show you what I'm watching because I'll definitely get a copyright claim there. But now it's uh, pretty much Suplex City. Biatch, right there. My prediction, my theory on this, my prediction was that uh, Paul Heyman was going to turn on Brock and help Braun Strowman. Just from the vignettes that they've been showing, and they've been showing how Paul Heyman has said that Strowman's a monster and he, he fears him or whatever, my thought was, hmm, there's something behind this. Maybe Heyman's going to turn on Brock and help Braun win, and then Heyman is going to manage Braun Strowman. That was just my theory. I don't know if that's going to happen. It, I guess it all kind of depends on whether or not Brock Lesnar goes back to the UFC because he got challenged by John Jones, John Bones Jones. But I th didn't John Jones fail a drug test? I don't know. Oh, sorry for the spoilers. <laughs> JP Drums 1990, sorry for the spoilers, but I'm currently watching The End of No Mercy. Uh, what's up, Joshua? These things are rolling in. I still haven't pulled this damn thing up on my computer, so let me do that so I can actually read these questions. Um, let's see what people are saying. Just just scan in the comments. What's up, everyone? What's up, Action Fig 403 He's got stripped from his title, Nick's Figs. How am I? Comic Gamer 213, I'm doing great. Uh, what's up, Henry Rodriguez? What's up, Jared? Uh, let's see. Have to leave to... What's up? Uh, how about them Blue Jackets? Uh, how about them? I hope they have a good season. Uh, I like the acquisition of Panarin. Hopefully he does well. I'm still watching the end of this match here. Sorry. Sorry I'm not being very interactive. I'm, I'm watching this. He might not even need Paul Heyman to beat Brock. Sorry, T-Man. I just saw the focus there. I'm watching the end of this pay-per-view. Although, are they really pay-per-views anymore? I mean, we're kind of paying on a monthly basis. They're kind of... I told Mrs. Since he was a free-for-view, free for is uh, what I called it. Am I, am I a baseball fan? I, uh, I am a baseball fan, especially in October. I'm a big fan of, like, baseball playoffs. Obviously, the Reds are not going to be in it, so I'm rooting for uh, my other Ohio team, the Indians, who are freaking awesome. Uh-oh. F5? <laughs> that, was, that was such a weak F5. What? So, uh, no spoilers there, but the match is over. Not how I was expecting it to go down. So let's wait and see if there's something additional at the end of this match here. That was kind of underwhelming. I wanted something big to happen. I want to talk about spoilers here uh, on this whole thing. I do want to talk about, someone uh, asked what I think happened with Cena. Dude is taking some time off. So um, obviously he loves the WWE. He's pretty genuine about that. 
I don't think he's retiring. Uh, he's he's two years. Yeah, he's forty years old. So I mean, he still has some time left to wrestle. But that man is uh, a lead in a big budget film. For those that do not know, he is the lead in the Transformers spinoff movie Bumblebee. So that is currently listed on IMDb as filming. So uh, he's probably due to show up at the at the wherever they're shooting and uh, start filming a scene. So yeah, that guy's gonna be uh, busy for the next, I don't know, three, four months, however long their shooting schedule is. Um, and also he has three films right now in post-production. Uh, so for post-production, they often have actors come back for reshoots. So I would assume, I'm just conditional that's gonna happen here. I would assume he might have to go back for reshoots on some of those movies. I think one of them is an animated movie, so he probably just have to go back for uh, additional voice. But that's it. Such a letdown. That match was such a freaking letdown. They built this thing up to be a big freaking monster versus monster match. I don't know about you guys. Shout out in the comments here. Shout out right now. Was this a letdown? This match specifically. I really liked the tag match, the Ambrose Rollins uh, versus uh, Sheamus Cesaro match. That was a good match. Frickin' Cesaro lost two front teeth. That was brutal. They showed a slow motion and his two front teeth were just gone and blood coming down. Um, Braun should have won, absolutely. Braun should have destroyed Brock, but I guess Brock is not gonna fight John Jones. Uh, I'm gonna turn this down. Hold on one second, give me a second. All right, so I am here. 51 people in here, let's rock and roll. Um, so just a few more thoughts on No Mercy. I know a lot of you are not wrestling fans, but I just wanted to share a couple things. So John Cena, I'm predicting he'll be back by WrestleMania. What happened to all the freaking comments? We still live? Okay, there we go. Um, he'll be back by WrestleMania. I think he's going to have a big match at WrestleMania, but he's going to be shooting movies for the next five, six months. I'm not sure if he already got married to uh, Nikki Bell. Is it Nikki or Brie? I get him confused. I think Nikki's the one with the big personality. <laughs> I think that, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if they're married already or if they're going to get married or if they're going to honeymoon, whatever. Kingsman 2, I just saw that comment. Kingsman 2 is awesome. Uh, so for if you liked the first Kingsman, first of all, the first thing I would recommend, if you like the first Kingsman, see Kingsman 2, but watch Kingsman, the first one, before you go see part two, because there's a lot of characters that come back in part two. And Mrs. Cincy had not seen the first one in a while, and she was like, who's that again? Who's that again? But I remembered them all. Uh, go see or watch the Blu-ray or whatever of the first Kingsman before you see Kingsman 2. Um... And uh, what else was I going to say? So it's a good action movie. The fight scenes are freaking awesome. The use of CGI is awesome. However, I agree with a lot of the movie reviews that have been done for this movie. Like the uh, Schmoes, no, I like those guys. I watch their reviews. Uh, who else was it? Jeremy, Jeremy Johns also said the same thing. It's kind of Austin Powers-like in some scenes because it's so over the top and so cartoon-like. So the first Kingsman was was kind of grounded in reality. It was like some of that stuff could happen, but then it kind of went up and, and like, okay, the unbelievable factor kind of went up a little bit. This one, it, it stayed at that unbelievable factor and then it went up even more. So it realizes that it is like um, a popcorn action movie and it it embraces that, I think. So... Some of the scenes, specifically Julianne Moore, she was pretty much the only thing I didn't really care for. I thought she was way too over the top with her acting. Almost to the point where she was kind of annoying. Uh, I didn't really like Julianne Moore's character. But then I was talking to Mrs. Cincy about it on the way back home. She goes, well, wasn't that the purpose? Wasn't she supposed to be like that? Because I think she kind of liked the fact that she was that kind of like crazy and maniacal. But... I didn't like Julianne Moore, and I didn't like that whole set piece that she was in. But the action, awesome. The freaking fight scenes, the gun scenes were awesome. Um, go see it. I would definitely recommend it. But just be prepared. 
it is kind of over the top and cartoonish. Now let me do something that I said I was gonna do frickin' 10 minutes ago and pull this damn video up so I can actually see these comments roll in. I wanna get to the comments. Uh, Julian Moore was a little annoying. Alan, yes, I agree. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let me, you know what, I'm gonna do this last. Let me show you some of the stuff that I picked up. Some awesome stuff here. I need to open this drink because I'm gonna, my mouth is gonna start getting dry. How's everyone doing tonight, by the way? 74 people on right now. I still haven't pulled up the damn video, so let me do that. Um, shout out to Mike the Hunter who's back. Uh, if you have not checked out his video, don't do it now because I want you, I want you to be here. But Mike the Hunter is back. He posted a return video, and I rather enjoyed it. It was a good video. But uh, let me pull this up. Make sure my volume's turned down so I don't freak myself out. And there's the comments. So there we go. So let me scroll all the way up. So first thing that I want to show you, I got two new NECA figures, courtesy of Michael Taylor. Michael, if you're in uh, here, shout out to you. Thank you very much for this trade. I absolutely appreciate it. But um, I did get the 66 Batman Adam West NECA figure, and it looks freaking awesome. Very, very cool. If you do pick this one up, what I would recommend, so from the shoulder to the elbow, to the, there's a, a gauntlet there that swivels. There's a swivel joint right there to the wrist joint. It's all extremely, extremely tight and almost frozen when you get it out of the package. A lot of people say that when they take it out of the package right away, they start trying to uh, articulate it and they break limbs. So thankfully I had heard about that and I immediately stuck him in front of a space heater from his shoulders all the way down for, I don't know, a good amount of time till he was like the plastic was soft. And then I started articulating him and broke all the, I think the freezing of the joints is due to the paint. Because when, when it heated up and I started moving things around, I could hear like little like, not cracking, but I could hear things freeing up. So I think it's just the way that the paint was done. Like right now he articulates great. Uh, I'm not worried at all about breaking a limb, but um, yeah, just be aware. This one and the next figure I'm going to show you, make sure, at least for the arms, shoulders, elbows, wrist, and uh, the gauntlet, heat that sucker up, either hot water, a hair dryer. I use a space heater because it just, it does the trick a lot quicker. But yes, this is an Adam West 1966 NECA Batman figure. Awesome. So once again, thanks Michael Taylor for that trade. Here, let me show you the back. It does have a cloth cape. Um, I need to do something with the cloth cape to make it just kind of like drape better and hang down more. I've heard that if you uh, put water on it and kind of like make it wet, it will drape better, but uh, I haven't tried that yet. He does come with, uh, let me show you the accessories there. That little bat radio thing. Sorry, I don't know the proper terms. And then this Batarang, which looks a little big for the figure, but it's still pretty cool. But there you go. That'll go on my NECA shelf. I actually started a NECA shelf with just Batman stuff since I have a Bale, a Keaton, a Heath Ledger now, and an Adam West. This guy is not a Batman figure. This next one I'm going to show you is not a Batman figure, but uh, he's going to go on the same shelf. It is, it is another NECA figure. It is the NECA Christopher Reeve Superman figure. So this one's really cool. And again, the same thing goes for this. If you take this out of package, heat those freaking arms up uh, from the shoulder. This one's got a shoulder, an elbow, and a wrist joint. And also the hand joints. So the hands are articulated like that. It's kind of got like a one of those joints. Heat it up before you start moving stuff around. You'll feel the plastic get really, really soft, and then um, it'll it'll be a lot better to uh, articulate. This one's cool because if you look at his stomach there, this is actually like a rubber bodysuit. You probably can't tell, but there's like a, not an exoskeleton, an inside skeleton under that rubber bodysuit. So it's just, um, it's really cool the way that it kind of has been manufactured. Um, you don't see any like joints there, but you could tell like it feels like he's Like you're pushing on the muscles or something, but it's it's clearly like a rubber outside there exterior 
Endoskeleton. Thank you, T-Man. What's up, T-Man? T-Man 978's here. Uh, let's see. And then the cape. Let me show you the cape. What NYCC 2017 pops am I getting? There's a few that I'm really interested in. There's the cape. I'll talk about those in just a second. And the cape, it um, I have it like folded over, but you can do this with it so that it covers more of him. I have it folded back though. But a uh, really, really cool figure. Again, Christopher Reeve, NECA Superman figure. And I do have the NECA stand on it so that he has um, more stability in his pose. But uh, very, very cool. I might use a flight stand for this one. So it looks like Enzo is still on there. Uh, should I share a spoiler that that was the only title that changed hands tonight? Cincy, am I a horror monster guy? I am um, kind of. I don't like jump scares in movies, especially in theaters. I can handle jump scares a lot better when they're in my TV and I can turn the volume down. Um, and I can have the lights on. I get scared for like from the jump scares. So I don't like those. But I do like some horror movies. Um, Cabin in the Woods is one of my favorite movies. It's just an awesome movie. Obviously, I love The Walking Dead. That's kind of a, a horror show. Uh, so, yeah. I want the Walgreens exclusive Human Torch. It looks like a lot of the Walgreens are getting a ton of those. I checked uh, some of my local Walgreens online. And it said they had like 10 each. So... Uh, you should what's up Nate Nate Simmons um I'm just I'm kind of like keeping an eye on the these things got me on the NECA kick quarter scale Mikey I want that quarter scale Mikey really really bad all right so let me share the other things that I have so I can do this unboxing I'm 17 minutes in 90 people strong what's up everyone for those of you that are just joining me Cesaro looking like Mick Foley after the match <laughs> with his freaking two front teeth missing that was that was nasty um, I don't know if he meant to whip his head forward that that hard. <laughs> he was really selling it. Uh, he definitely sold it, so he should get a bonus of some kind for that. So, Blitzwing. I took Blitzwing out of the box. This is a badass Blitzwing. This looks like a modern version of the G1 toy. That's what I love. Um, I will show you the previous Blitzwing that they did. I think it was Thrilling 30. Um, let me just do that. Let me show you the difference. Freaking night and day difference right here. I actually still like this figure though, which is weird because it doesn't even look like Blitzwing. It's basically just the same paint scheme. But like if you had the original Blitzwing figure from G1, whoa, this one right here is definitely a much better interpretation than this thing right here. This thing is just all messed up. I still like it though for some reason. I think one of the things that I really like is the gimmicked face, the gimmicked uh, head. Uh, please read the guy's comments so he'll stop posting it. Uh, who's posting what? What what did I what what is what's being reposted? Um, Monroe Rain, what's up, man? You should definitely get into Transformers. These things are awesome. Hold on, let me show you the. I always spin it the wrong way. So you saw the. All right, so let me. His face rotates inside of his helmet, so he has three different faces. He's got that one. He's got. This one, which I like. And then he's got... And he's got this one. If Madar is asking if I've watched Naruto, no, I haven't watched Naruto yet. I do plan on watching that. I promise you I will watch Naruto and I will let you know what I think about it. Uh, I've heard good things about Naruto, but I have not watched it yet. So this is the old Blitzwing, Thrilling 30. Don't get that one because it's not really Blitzwing uh, accurate. Get this bad boy right here. You can find him in stores right now. Find him in Target. Uh, you can find him in, I think Walmart has him too. But yes, Titans Return Blitzwing, badass. And just to show you some comparisons, because this is basically the same exact figure as the Megatron. I'm going to show you the Megatron side by side with this one. This is the Megatron Titan's Return next to the Blitzwing Titan's Return. You could see that it's pretty much the same body with a few minor adjustments, but I don't know. They, they look awesome. 
I, I'm not complaining at all that they reuse the bodies there here. But very, very cool. Yes, they are Transformers JC. This is a uh, Titans Return Transformers Megatron Blitzwing. And one more comparison. The original triple ch I think these are the original triple changers. Correct me if I'm wrong. Astro Train and Blitzwing, side by side. Memories right there, ladies and gentlemen. Memories of my childhood right there. Awesome. Freaking awesome. I am really, really loving the Titans Return line. I liked Combiner Wars, but a lot of those individual robots were weak. They look good in the uh, combined forms, but just individual robots that kind of, some of them kind of suck. So... Let me go ahead and answer some questions, answer some comments before I unbox this. If you're just joining me, I am unboxing this right now, the Luke and Lance Peter. Let me just go ahead and cut the tape. I'll do that, and then I'll answer some questions and comments, and then I'll get back to this. Cut the tape with my little thumbtack. Trusty thumbtack. Looks like Juan Cena. Might be on there right now on the post show. I can't see him. But yeah, so he's not done. He's just filming some freaking movies. I kind of uh, jumped the gun here. I already unboxed. <laughs> so there you go. But uh, that will wait. It's not as much assembly as I thought was going to be required. It's like basically just one thing I have to assemble. Actually two. I have to put the little thing on the bottom so it sits up off the ground but let me go ahead and move this stuff move Megatron and then I'm gonna answer some questions comments what do I think about DiCaprio is going to be the next Joker I think that would be um, okay however I have a better suggestion for the Joker believe it or not and I'm a huge DiCaprio fan he's one of my favorite actors however there was a performance recently very, very recently in a very, very big popular movie. And I think the guy that played this role would be freaking awesome as the Joker. Can you, do you know who I'm talking about? He, uh, he's currently in movie. There you go. Archaic TV, Bill Skarsgård. The guy that plays Pennywise in the It movie, holy sweet ass. Would that guy not be awesome as the Joker? That guy would be freaking awesome as the Joker. So yeah, I, um, I don't know. Can we start like an online petition to have Bill Skarsgård as the next Joker? Because that guy would kill it. If Jared Leto doesn't want to come back as the Joker, I say hire Bill Skarsgård. That guy would freaking own that role. Own it. So let me go ahead and... Uh, Look at some questions, comments. I'm gonna scroll all the way to the top, so um, I don't. It's not going all the way to the top. So I'm gonna start with Doug, who asked, "I want Cena to bury Bumblebee." <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's an inside joke if you're a wrestling fan, because Cena has been known to bury people by like killing their careers in the WWE. That's just funny. So good one, Doug. I like that one. Uh, so let me go ahead and scroll down. Rebra472, Ohio is my state. OH! For anyone out there. Cena is uh, Cena to be the last Jedi. When does Thor Ragnarok come out? I think Thor Ragnarok comes out in November, and I'm very much looking forward to that movie. I'm looking forward to Thor Ragnarok, Justice League, The Last Jedi. These last three months of this year are going to be freaking awesome. I'm telling you right now. Uh, let's see. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. John Cena for Shazam. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Because The Rock is going to play Black Adam, right? I don't think they would get two wrestlers, though. Although Sh Shazam is like, has like the mentality of a child. Because it's, what's his name? Billy something? He's a kid. I think John Cena could easily play a kid. That'd be an interesting casting, but it probably won't be uh, probably won't be him. Uh, Doug said Braun should have won. I agree. Madar, Madar, no, I'm not watching Naruto. I'm doing a live cast. 
watching some Juan Cena on the post show with no sound. Uh, toy hunt in Canton, Ohio. What's up, Canton? Football Hall of Fame, NFL Football Hall of Fame. I need to go back there. I haven't been there in a while. Uh, let's see. Bumblebee will get the F5, no doubt. <laughs> Bumblebee's going back to being uh, an actual VW bug. So there you go. There's some G1 continuity there. He's going to go back to being an actual car that he was supposed to be. How freaking awesome would it be if they had a, like a Porsche? I think he was a Porsche 944. Cliff Jumper. What if they had Cliff Jumper in the Bumblebee movie? That would be Bumblebee movie. That would be freaking awesome. Because Cliff Jumper was my, I think it was my favorite. Cliff Jumper and Wind Charger were my two favorites. That would be awesome. That would be so cool. Here's my reservations about the Bumblebee movie. And, and this is what happens when I do these live casts. One thing pops into my head and I go off on tangents and I miss like 30 questions. If you look at, first of all, here's the good thing. There's one writer. If you look at the previous Transformers movies, there's been an ass ton of writers. And that's where the script gets all muddied up and crappy. When you have one writer, you get the vision of one person. You don't get two people that are conflicting. Maybe we should do it this way. Or maybe this should happen. It just doesn't mesh well when you get more than one writer for a movie. When you get one writer, it's all their vision. And then you get the director. Hopefully they work well together. So the, the writer, she has written three movies, I think. And the last movie was that Katherine Heigl movie, which bombed. So there's reservation number one. Reservation number two is the fact that the director, although he did direct Kubo and the Two Strings, which was like a very big, uh, popular, uh, po um, positively reviewed movie, all he's directed are animated movies, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is his first non-animated movie. How well is that transition going to go? If all you've done is animated movies, I mean, technically, there's so much CGI in these Transformers movies that... It's not really an animated movie, but there's a lot of animation. It's just a reservation. They've only done animated movies. They're doing live action. Do they know how to direct people in person? They can direct visuals. Can they direct people? So there's reservation number two. Um, I just really, really hope we get some actual G1 um, bots in it. That would be freaking awesome if we got like Cliff Jumper. Barricade will probably be back. It seems like Barricade is an ongoing thing in all these Transformers movies. He's like the arch nemesis of Bumblebee. And in the last night, I don't think he died. I think he's still alive. I think Megatron's still alive. Obviously, Berserker's still alive. He never got released. Um, I don't know who else is around, but I just want some freaking G1 looking bots in the 80s. Freaking bring Starscream back and make him the... How many robots were there in the first Transformers movie? Weren't there a lot of Decepticons already on Earth? Technically, Starscream could already be there. And he could be that gray jet with the red and blue trim. Ah, they have so many opportunities to make this a kick-ass movie, but I know they won't. I'm crossing my fingers that they do, though. All right, so uh, let me keep scrolling here. Dude is making bank. I assume you're talking about John Cena. Because that guy is, uh, he's doing a lot. He's keeping busy. Uh, the match was a huge letdown. I agree. I'm assuming you're talking about uh, Braun and C or Braun and uh, Brock. Nick's figs. Look at that ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> Avengers Infinity War. Can't wait. I'm looking forward to that too. I'm looking forward to... Oh, by the way, did you guys hear that uh, Mark Hamill tweeted out that tomorrow night... Is tomorrow night Monday? Monday night, during Monday Night Football, apparently there's going to be something Star Wars related. Possibly a new Last Jedi trailer. So, be ready for that. Hopefully it's a longer trailer and not just like a 30 second teaser. I hope Helena Cell is better. Me too. Chris Alford said, open box with no mercy. I love the warrior. All the cruiserweights are being so mean to Enzo on Twitter except Akira. Interesting. Yeah, Enzo, uh, he's not like a, like behind the scenes, not even like storyline wise. He's not very well liked by the locker room, apparently. He rubs people the wrong way, which kind of, it's curious why they made him the champ, but it makes sense because he was very, very popular when he was on Raw with uh, 
with Cass. Uh, a couple more questions, then I'm going to unbox this sucker here. Do I like Kingsman 2? Yes, I really liked it. A lot of buffer for me. I apologize. My internet blows. It's the worst, so I, I'm sorry if it uh, is buffering a lot. And let's see. I'm happy the goddess Alexa retained. Alexa Bliss is freaking awesome. She's going to lose the belt soon, though, to Asuka. I'm just letting you know that. Asuka's going to make her... Asuka's not going to start losing. For those that don't know, there's a wrestler, a female wrestler. I think she's from Japan. Her name is Asuka. It looks like Asuka, the way you spell it. But she went undefeated over many, many years in NXT. She never lost. She had a longer winning streak than Goldberg. And she's coming to Raw, and she's not going to lose. She's going to win that title. Um, eventually she'll lose, but I don't think it'll be to Alexa Bliss. I think Charlotte will probably be the one that knocks her off somehow, because Charlotte's on SmackDown. Anyway, uh, what's up, Kenner Freak 7 What's up, Owen? How was the Cincinnati Comic Expo? A lot of uh, people locally went to that Cincinnati Comic Expo. I saw pictures of celebrities that you met. I saw pictures of your halls. Keep posting those on, on the Syndicate Facebook page. I'd love to see that stuff. For those of you that are not part of the Syndicate Facebook page, please do join. We'd love to have you there. Um, what do I think about Carmelo going to OKC? I don't really keep up with basketball until it's the playoffs. And really the only team that I follow in the NBA, I used to be a huge NBA fan, especially when this goes really far back when Shaq was with the Magic <laughs> and it was the Shaq and Penny show. That's when I was a big basketball fan. But now I don't, and Jordan, obviously I was the biggest basketball, basketball was like my the only sport that I watched when Jordan was playing. That shows how old I am. But now I watch the the Cavs in the playoffs because I'm a LeBron fan. So time to open this box up, and then I'll get back to these questions. So once again, I am uh, unboxing this Lan uh, Luke Landspeeder. It's late, so I'm going to start slurring my words. Luke Landspeeder. It looks. I thought that I was going to have a lot more to assemble, but it looks like I just have to put. Alrighty then. I just have to put this on there and then this under there. So let's do that. And I'm going to pick up this Luke since he just freaking face planted on my floor. Let's show that first since clearly he wants out of this package. Since he freaking used the force and pull vaulted out of the box. Uh, so there's Luke. Little Lukey. He's got to pick up some power converters at Toshi Station. Whiny Luke. Rewind that. <laughs> you guys you guys liked it when he fell out of the damn package. So let me take this out. I hate how when you take these lightsabers out of these packages, they are bent. You immediately have to take like a hair dryer to them. Thankfully, it's like very soft plastic, so you can just kind of bend it back into shape with your hand. That looks straight. I don't like how it's almost very, very clear. This should be bluer, in my personal opinion. I like when the lightsabers are very uh, vibrant, green, blue. I don't like these freaking clear light blue jobs. Not a fan of that. They've made lightsabers that were very, very blue, so I don't understand why they can't just use the same mold, same plastics to do that. That's weak. Weak! Weak sauce. That is a big ass gun right there. I gotta watch my A's. I gotta watch that ASS word because I don't want to freaking. I don't want YouTube and their little bots. I don't want YT and their little bots to. Flag me for inappropriate content. I got flagged. I didn't even say any bad words on that one video. So I got to watch, watch my uh, my A's. Holy A. I'm going to have to do that now. Uh, so here we go. By the way, quick fig hack. Let me, let me go ahead and show you a fig hack right here. First of all, there's the Luke. Huge, huge improvement over the single-packed 40th anniversary slash Black Series Luke. Luke pulled a Pocahontas to the floor. <laughs> All right, hold on one second. You can probably figure out what fig hack I'm gonna show you here in a second. This poncho, take the poncho off, put it on this guy. Cause Qui-Gon wore the poncho in episode one. I'm not gonna do it right now cause I probably have to pop the head off of Qui-Gon cause of his hair, his molded hair. But give that a try. I'm not sure if a lot of people have done that. Uh, swap that that hack because uh, you can then just pose farm boy luke with his farm boy outfit and then have a freaking tatooine qui-gon 
Uh, but under the poncho, show you what he looks like. It's the same body as the 40th. Same uh, soft goods. So based on the recent post on the Syndicate Facebook page, this is a doll. And I'm a happy doll collector, if that's the case. But there you go. They're all toys. They're just toys. Um, and I love them. I love them! But there you go. Look at the face sculpt. It's blurry. Looks like he's kind of looking up. Not bad. Not too bad. And let me open this now. I'm going to need... See this? Invest in one of these. It is called a open it. Open it. And basically it's for, I don't have any around right now, but a NECA figure that come in those like plastic packages. They're kind of hard to cut. This thing cuts away from it so that you don't like stab yourself with the plastic shards that you're cutting. The other thing is this. Bam! There's a razor blade in there. So you can cut like tape and stuff around a package. I I don't have any stock in this company. I just really, really recommend this tool. I use this thing for pretty much all of my um, stuff that I open up. So let me go ahead and cut these. So there's that piece right there. Man, there's a lot of like things to cut. So the other good thing about this, see how it's like bent like that? It gets in there and you can get around things. It's better than scissors. Look at how easy that is. Well, you can't really see it, but trust me, it's really easy. There is the land speeder. Freaking awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Getting a mad like flashback to the my childhood. Um, okay, so I got to put this in the right way. Am I an idiot? <laughs> Don't answer that. Uh, how does this go in? Oh, there we go. I don't like to read instructions. That's that's not a good thing. Especially when I get it like a new transformer, especially a masterpiece transformer. I don't like to read the instructions. I like to try and figure it out. And that has gotten me into some uh, trouble uh, previously by not liking to read instructions. I just don't like it. I don't like reading instructions. I like to try and do it myself. So there we go. Pretty sure I did it right. This is very boring. Hey, K Long, thanks for joining. You know, there's other stuff to watch out there in YouTube land. Mike the Hunter's video, his return video, K-Long. Check that out. That's not boring. But there you go. Interestingly enough, K-Long also said this is very boring on Josh Pence's live stream last night. So there you go, K-Long. Apparently he likes boring videos. So let me cut out this. Oh, that came out pretty easily. So... The base is two parts. There is one. Does it have a mount so you can display it? Yes, this is a uh, part one of the mount. And part two is right here. I'm not sure how this goes together, but oh no, this is not a freaking mount. This is the windscreen. Duh. So let me put that in. That goes in like that. There we go. Now it is complete. That is freaking awesome. So, so freaking cool. And so the mount is just one piece. It's, it's not a two part thing. 108 people in here. Badass. So it's uh, basically just like a plug. There's the hole. I assume it just, maybe not. Well, that's retarded. So, sorry I said that word, I did not mean that. That's stupid. Look at that, that hole is hexagonal. I think that's a hexagon, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
six sides. That circle, circle, hexagon. Seriously? So I'm gonna have to jam this sucker in there. All right, and if you just jam it in there, do the twisting motion, that's what I did. Push and twist, there you go. Beautiful, beaut. Well, that was a quick unboxing. Um, I thought that was gonna last longer, that's what she said. Uh, but let me go ahead and get to these questions and comments. Um, overall, if I was to give this a rating, is it worth $60? First of all, this is a $20 figure right here. So if you missed that on the 40th anniversary Luke, $20 figure. So is this worth $40? The way that I think about it, is this worth two figures? This is a lot of plastic a lot of paint, a lot of parts, is it worth $40? Tough call, I would say it's worth $30. So if this is worth 30, this is worth 20, I'd say 50 bucks is probably a good price for this, not 60. 40, definite, 50, yeah. I paid 60 for it, but I just wanted it because nostalgia. Um, someone, I, I kind of saw it scroll past really quick. Do I have the Ray and Speeder? I do! Right here, but I'm not going to unbox this one yet. I'm going to get to these questions and comments. Um, so let me do that. That will probably be on another live stream. I'll do that uh, Ray Speeder. That thing looks really cool. Alright, so let me get to these questions and comments. The Ultimate War... Uh, let's see... Did I get the Mezco Red Skull? I did not get the Mezco Red Skull with the green outfit. There's two versions of the Mezco Red Skull. There's the one that just solicited. I think it was a fall exclusive, NYCC exclusive with the green outfit. I ordered the one with the black. It looks like a leather trench coat. I pre-ordered that one. I think that one looks better. Here's my reasoning behind. Am I back? I guess I'm back. Mrs. Cincy just called. I had to decline the call. Um, why is she calling me at 11.43 at night? She's uh, she's not uh, here right now. Mrs. Cincy's actually in Atlanta, Georgia for business. Um, so hopefully she understands that I had to decline her call. She'll probably call back in about 30 seconds and then I'm going to freeze again. Will I get the Hot Toys Death Trooper? I have three Death Troopers and now I'm living off bread and cheese. Let me go ahead and send her a message really quick so that she understands why I declined her call. <laughs> there we go. For those that are wondering what I typed, Hey, babe, sorry I declined your call. I'm literally live on YouTube right now. <laughs> and she's writing back, Well, I see what takes precedence then. I see what your priorities are. No, she's she's probably not going to say that. Let's. Hopefully she says, Ooh, sorry, I didn't know. Okay. I think she forgot what day it was. Anyway, where was I? Where were we? Um, I'm looking at the comments. Mezco Red Skull. I pre-ordered the uh, leather trench coat one. I did not pre-order the green uh, one. Uh, let's see. Am I still around? Okay. Uh, have you seen it? Love the Kingsman movie. It came out of nowhere for me. Art Gutierrez. What's up, man? John Campia and Chris Stuckman are my most trusted opinions for me. I like Chris Stuckman a lot. I actually bought his book. Uh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> is someone still asking about Naruto or has it moved on to Pokemon now? <laughs> Deadpool 2 is coming out uh, coming out next year. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to see how Cable is portrayed. He looks a lot more like grounded than futuristic. Obviously he's got the metal arm and the eye, but if you've seen pictures of what Josh Brolin looks like in the Cable outfit, he just looks like kind of like a current day military dude. 
Um, let's see. That's how the comics are over the top. Yeah, Kingsman. They did uh, com Secret Sir, the Secret Service by Mark Millar. They did comics on those. I have not read them, but um, I guess they're over the top. So uh, Andrew Branscombe um, said that. I will check those out, though. I've been wanting to check out the comics. Loved Enzo cheating to win. Throwback to the late, great Eddie Guerrero. I think Enzo's going to win every match by cheating, personally. I knew as soon as he grabbed that title that he was going to kick uh, Neville in the in the the berries there. Um, let's see. Am I getting the Star Wars Black Series Walgreens exclusive? Obi-Wan. Yes, I really want that one. I was actually thinking about going to uh, hit some Walgreens this afternoon and see if I could find that Ghost Obi-Wan. Definitely want to pick that one up. And I know that I kind of like said that I was going to get away from Marvel Legends. That Human Torch looks really, really cool though. The translucent plastic. I, I got to see what it looks like in person, but uh, I got to not buy that. Because if I buy that, then it's just open season again on Marvel Legends. Alan said Julianne Moore was a little annoying. Uh, let's see. What's the haul? The haul, if you just joined me, was two NECA figures, two Titans Return Transformers figures, and an unboxing of a Luke Landspeeder. All right, scrolling, scrolling. And it did the whole jump thing where it jumped all the way down to the frickin' bottom. So let me scroll up a little bit more. What is my favorite Hot Toys? Still Thanos. Um, it's still Thanos. The Armored Batman, though. I really like the Armored Batman from Batman v Superman. It's not really super articulated. I just like the way it looks. It always catches my eye. And it's got the light-up eyes. So you can turn the, the light. There's, like, LEDs in the eyes, so it, like, glows. Um, I like a lot of different Hot Toys figures. I really like my Mark 42 up there from uh, Iron Man 3. The Diecast Mark 42. I like the uh, stealth suit um, Captain America from Winter Soldier. But Thanos is probably still my favorite one. Chase Miller, since you're the most entertaining toy hunter on YouTube, how about a shout out? Chase Miller, thank you very much for that. And there's your shout out. Thank you, Chase Miller. Am I going to Hawaii with the syndicate? Jason Cristobal says... I'd love to go to frickin' Hawaii. I went to Hawaii uh, like five years ago. Or was it ten years ago? I went to Hawaii with Mrs. Cincy before we got married. Uh, and that was one of the best vacations ever. I'd love to go to uh, Hawaii and hunt with uh, Plastic Addict and Big John. All those awesome dudes out there. Willem Dafoe made that movie happen. The kid who played Light Sucked. You're talking about Death Note. And uh, I was into Death Note in the first 30 minutes, and then it just kind of like, I was like, eh, this is okay. Uh, let's see. How will you think? My comments are jumping again. Jared Pacheco Sanchez, shout out to you. Waiting on Ghost Rider Hot Toys. Yeah, I'm waiting on that one too. I have that one pre-ordered. The Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider from the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show. Battle Damaged Armored Batman Hot Toys looks so good. Plus, it has the Kryptonite Spear. Yeah, I had to um, skip that one because I already have this one here. Plus, I think the Robbie Reyes went up at the same time, and I really wanted that one. What do I do for a living to afford so much expensive figures? I work in video production. I do video production professionally. Um, it sounds like a fun job. It is a fun job. It's just a freaking lot of work because I write all of my content for the videos that I do. I write all the scripts. Um, I record all of the videos, I edit all the videos, I edit all the sound, I do all the color correction, I do all the post-production, it's a one-man show. Um, so the videos that I do, they're all like promotional videos, advertising videos, commercials, training videos, kind of the whole thing. So that's what I do, that's my job. Best job I've ever had, I only got this job like three years ago, but I freaking love it. Have I seen pics of the Justice League Batman SH Figure Arts opinion? Um, I think it looks pretty good. I think the SH Figure Arts for Justice League look really good. Except they're a little smaller. The SH Figure Arts have gone, like, the scale's gone down. So they're a little smaller than the regular 6-inch figures. 
it seems like the Mafex figures are kind of the same scale. So it's kind of an ongoing thing, SH Figure Arts or Mafex. They both have a very, very, you know, different positives and negatives, but just go with whatever one you like the most personally. Have I seen the Watchmen? And if so, do I have Watchmen figures in my collection? I've got a few of the DC... They're, they're multi... DC Universe, DC whatever the frick they are. Uh, uh, Watchmen back there. I've got Dr. Manhattan, Rorschach, and um, Comedian. Watchmen is going to be an HBO series. Awesome. I can't wait for it. For those that do not know, they're bringing the Watchmen into the regular DC continuity in the comic book, so... Very, very cool there. Depending which SH figure arts you get. Yeah, there's some SH figure arts that are not as good as others. Gotta go. Jason, take care. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. You're the man. Did, did I see the new Mafex Ledger Joker in the police uniform? Yeah, I, uh, it also comes with uh, an extra head and extra arms for the previous Joker. So you can make him look like he was when he was actually in jail. Um, with just the vest on. I freaking love how they package accessories for previous figures. That's like my favorite thing in toys right now <laughs> is when they give you accessories for other toys to, to make them better. I love it. What's up, Kai? Favorite Black Series fig? You had to ask me that question, didn't you? That's a tough one. Um... It's between, I don't know, I really like Qui-Gon. I really like the Qui-Gon Jinn. I really, really like the um, Chirrut Imwe from Rogue One. I gotta think about that one. The Darth Vader also, the 40th anniversary Darth Vader is awesome. That's like the best Darth Vader they've done. Uh, let's see, what am I at? 9.38. Wow, this whole thing restarted when uh, Mrs. Cincy called. I wonder if this is going to give me two separate videos then. That's weird. Or if this is going to be just one video. I guess we'll find out. Uh, would love to see a Hot Toys Qui-Gon in Episode 3 Obi-Wan. Yes, that would be awesome. And uh, before anyone asks, I do plan on... And I know that I've said that I'm going to get away from Hot Toys Star Wars... But I saw the Revenge of the Sith Anakin Hot Toys figure, and I really, really want that, and I'm going to pre-order that one. Do I think they'll make another Galactus Build-A-Figure? Probably not. Because they did a Marvel Universe Galactus, which was even bigger than the original Build-A-Figure. I would try and find that one if you can. It's a Marvel Universe Galactus. They did a, I think it was an SDCC version of that one as well, in a darker purple. But there was also a regular retail version, which you might be able to find for a good price. Uh, Skylar Pasquale, my dad tried to hit you up on Facebook Messenger. Do I still need the Praetorian Guard 3.75 inch? Yeah, I still do. I'm still looking for the Praetorian Guard 3.75 inch. I also need one of the, um, Executioner Troopers, the three and three quarter. And I need the Luke. I haven't seen any of those guys in my Walmarts. Justice League or Thor Ragnarok? Tough call, but... If this is a hypothetical question and I could only see one of those movies between Justice League and Thor Ragnarok, I'd probably see Justice League. Because um, I kind of know how Thor Ragnarok's going to end. Because I've seen the trailer for Avengers Infinity or I've seen the footage um, for Avengers Infinity War. So I know how the movie's going to end. Kind of. So I want to see Justice League. Um, do I use the same equipment from your job for your channel? No, I use a iPhone. Um, for my job, I use an actual video camera in, in a studio. Um, I keep everything separate. Any SH figure arts in the cave? Right now? No, they're all in the, um, unfinished basement part back there. How much did all that stuff cost? Um, good question. I've been collecting for 40 years, so I'm not sure what my total investment is because I do a lot of uh, collection cycling where I basically get rid of a bunch of stuff and use that money to buy new stuff. So uh, I didn't like 
put money down and just like buy everything at one time. It's this has been an ongoing collection for 40 years, literally. I didn't I've never stopped collecting. I've been collecting my entire life from two years old on. Hey, since he do I find the Voltron? Did I find the Voltron action figure? Yeah, I'm looking for Paige and uh, Hunk now. Um, and whatever the third figure is going to be in that wave. But I found the first three figures. How many SH figure arts do I have? I don't have that many. I have like less than 10. Can you sell me your build of figures? I'm, um, I'm not sure how I'm going to sell my Marvel Legends. I thought about selling them all as a giant lot. I thought about selling them by wave. I thought about taking them all to Kokomo Toys in Indiana and doing like a big freaking trade. I'm not sure yet. I just want to I want to make sure that I get the most that I can out of the this collection cuz I'm applying that to future Mezcos, future Hot Toys. I'm re I'm circulating that money back into my collection. Uh, let's see. I've reached the end of the comments, but this the comments have skipped forward a bunch of times. Broder Squad, thank you very much for being a huge fan. I, I appreciate it. Big Rigs Toy Show, it's amazing. Maybe I can show my girlfriend this video so that she will stop saying I'm too old to be collecting toys and figs. Um, yeah, you're never too old, man. You're never too old to do this stuff. You're never too old. This, this keeps me young. If I didn't have this collection, if I didn't collect this stuff, I would feel very old. I'd be like one of those dudes that just played golf every weekend. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy that wears like freaking loafers uh, to the movies and freaking dockers. <laughs> I like being young and young at heart. I might be in my 40s, but I don't feel like I'm in my 40s. I feel like I'm in my freaking 20s. So there you go. It does keep you young, Harley Quinn King. You think we'll get a Count Dooku Black Series? I really hope so. He was a pretty big, he was in two movies. So I really hope we get a, a Dooku. Do I still need, do you still need Collector? Yes, Jay, I do need that collect, the uh, Disney Parks Collector. Hit me up and let me know what you're looking for. Maybe we can do a trade. Uh, I know that thing's in high, high demand right now. I was your 89th sub. Thank you, Broders, I appreciate that. Hot Toys John Wick would be amazing. Yes, they would. I don't think they're gonna acquire the rights to that one though. Uh, which, NECA might do a John Wick. That would be like our only hope of getting a really cool John Wick figure. Is I could see NECA getting uh, rights to that series. What Transformer do I like the most? My, uh, sorry, I'm getting tired. I had to do that with my eyes. Uh, Masterpiece Soundwave. The Toys R Us Masterpiece Soundwave that came with the tapes. That's my favorite Transformer in my collection. And then MP10, Masterpiece Optimus Prime is my second favorite. Cincy, I really want a lot of your Marvel Legends because I'm a newer collector, Ganon Fish said. Once I figure out what I'm going to do with my collection, I'll let everyone know either on Facebook or on here on YouTube in a video. Uh, excuse me. What's up, Cincy Bro? I just got done watching your very first episode on YouTube. <laughs> Love it, bro. That one. P.S. I can't believe it's been a year already. Yeah, I uh, I did. What's up, KB the Toy Hunter? I did. I started YouTube over a little bit over a year ago. This is like my one year anniversary. It feels like I've been doing this a lot longer than one year. Um... But uh, yeah, I'm happy with where I am. This is this is a lot of fun. This has like become like part of my life. Being a YouTuber, sharing my passion, my collection with all of you, and I just it's it's fun. This is the most fun I've had collecting in 40 years. So there you go. This last year. Uh, Cincy shirts, Captain Casual said. Yes. They're on the way. I have to get the proof first. I have to get the uh, the first shirt. I want to see if you saw my proof on Facebook. I posted a picture. It's got a big rectangle around the logo. And uh, Brad Campbell, who is the freaking man, by the way, who designed my logo, is actually working on isolating just the logo so that you don't see that big ass rectangle. Big A rectangle on the shirt. So it'll be just the logo and then hashtag bam. Another cool thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do chase shirts. So I'm going to I'm going to order probably I don't know 10 to 20 chase shirts. They're going to be a, a variant. I don't know if they're going to be a different color, have a different uh, logo, different design, maybe a different hashtag on the back, but it's going to be a very very limited shirt. So if you get the chase, you know you're one of x number of people that got that shirt. So I'm hoping that there's interest in these shirts. I I just think it's awesome that you guys are interested in these shirts. 
Um, I originally just could, bought one so that I could wear it, so that when I'm out hunting, I could have the Cincy Nerd there. But if you guys are wanting to buy these shirts, that just makes me extremely happy. So uh, I'll let you know when they do go on sale, and I'll give you the website and all that stuff too. WKRP in Cincinnati song. Baby, if you ever wondered, wonder whatever became of me. I don't know if those are the actual words because I was like a small, small child when that show was out. And probably 90% of you are saying, what the frick is he singing right now? That was an old TV show called WKRP in Cincinnati about a radio station. And that was the opening theme song to that show. So the, 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 the thing scrolled so I can't see who it was that posted that. But there you go. There's my opening bars. to. It was AZ Legends. What's up, man? Uh, he was the one that asked me to sing that. So, oh, use it. Use it as like my intro song. That'd be a good idea. How come I don't really collect multiverse? I do. I got, um, but I got to cut those out because I'm going to focus on figure arts, Mafex, Mazco. I got a bunch of waves back there. I got the Suicide Squad wave with the Killer Croc. I even have the Killer Croc with the jacket um, and the different hands. I got the Ares wave. I got the Steppenwolf wave. Can you see it right? <laughs> right there. Right there. Steppenwolf wave. I got a bunch of waves back there. So yeah, I do love multiverse. I love them. But I have to cut my collection down because I just have too much stuff. I collect too much stuff. I love all this stuff so much. And it, it seriously sucks that I have to say goodbye to Legends, say goodbye to multiverse. But I have no, there's no room. I, have, I need to make room. So sorry. Uh, let's see. Greetings from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Have a great one. Gu Schming. Thank you very much. Shout out right now if you're in another country other than the United States. Please shout out right now what country you're from. Because I freaking love that. That's one of my favorite things about doing these live videos is just seeing where people are from. Especially if you're in another country. If it's another time zone. If it's tomorrow. If it's yesterday. If it's eight hours ahead. Eight hours behind. Big Rigs Toy Shows in Canada. What's up? If you shout out, you're in another country right now. I'm going to... Uh, Slim Tim is in Canada. A lot of Canadians, eh? Denmark. Steel Ski's from Denmark. It's 6 a.m. there. Steel Ski, what are you doing up at 6 a.m.? Getting ready for work? Uh, Memphis is definitely another country. Memphis Dale says, how much? Uh, how many to hot toys do I have? I have... I think the last count was 75 hot toys. Mexico. Alfred... Where did that comic go? Um, my comments are jumping. Rogue Quan, hi from Australia. I want to go to Australia so bad. Alfredo Huasa. I'm probably mispronouncing that, and I apologize, but he's in Mexico. Utah, what's what's up, Wasatch Pop? Action Fig Four Three is in Houston. I'm just gonna shout everyone out, um, because it's getting late, and I'm gonna have to end this soon. It's midnight. Um, Puerto Rico Hola Abdiel Verela No power, no food, but here I am Still no power there? That sucks Hopefully it gets back up for you soon Hopefully you get some food out there If I could help out with food I absolutely would Why do these comments keep jumping on me? Uh, shout me out I already shouted you out Ganon Fish, didn't I? There you go Ganon Fish, there's another one for you Henry Rodriguez is in Canada JP Drums 1990 says my dad loves that show. So that makes me feel old. <laughs> that your dad loves WKRP and I just like I know the theme song or at least part of it. Um Broder Squad lives in Kansas. Am I still going to collect WWE? Absolutely, dude. Warrior Z toys. I'm absolutely going to collect WWE. I'm I'm always going to collect WWE. I've been a fan of it for so long. Even when they're doing crappy main event matches like tonight, I'm still a fan of it. Uh, we're in. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm not just a fan of WWE. By the way, I'm a big fan of all wrestling. Shout out to Ring of Honor, and Young Bucks, Bullet Club, Too Sweet Me. Um, I'm just a huge wrestling fan. I'm a huge fan of independent wrestling. I'm a huge fan of WWE. The only one I stopped watching was. Uh, TNA Impact. I don't watch that anymore because I don't get that channel. And they change it to like, isn't it like Global Force Wrestling? Didn't Jeff Jarrett buy it back or something? Shout out in the comments what happened with TNA. I'm not sure. 
There's a lot of good dudes still in TNA, though. Hopefully, they uh, are doing well. Do I collect variant comics? Yeah, I used to be huge into variant covers. Um, and I still am, kind of. Especially, like, the action figure covers. If you know what I'm talking about, Star Wars comic books, they do action figure covers. Where the cover actually looks like a vintage action figure. Love them. Freaking love them. They do them for Marvel, also. Love those. But, yeah, I do buy variant covers from... From time to time. I just don't... I don't spend a lot of money on them. Mostly comic books for me now is just reading the story. Comic books to me are like watching a television show. Um, that's that's what I get comics for now. I don't really buy them as much as an investment anymore. Bailey or Jennifer? Bailey or Jennifer? Who... who which Jennifer are we talking about? And which Bailey? Bailey from the WWE? She's very small in person, by the way. I went to a uh, NXT live event. I sat front row, and there was a little a guy and his daughter were like right next to me. And Bailey came over and like gave the little girl a huge hug. And Bailey was just tiny. She looks like kind of like taller and bigger on screen. She was very small, which means Alexa Bliss is probably like a small child in person. Someone on Instagram is selling Disney Parks Collector. Uh, what do you think will happen in Infinity War? I think some people are going to die. I think we're going to see some of our main characters go off into the sunset. They need to, honestly, because they need to introduce new characters, new Avengers in the movies. Some of these guys have been doing these movies since freaking 2008. So they need to go off, right off into the sunset. Um... <clears throat> Oh, sorry. Francisco Marquez, Bailey or Jennifer on WKRP. Got to go with, uh, what was her name? Lonnie Anderson, the blonde? Yeah, I had a thing for her as a kid. I was like 12 when I was watching it, so it wasn't too weird. Um, all right, where am I? I should probably wrap this up, guys. I just want to um, say thank you to everyone that has joined me. Shout out to the Tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny. That's a freaking hilarious movie. Uh, I listen to some of the songs from that soundtrack a lot. The metal, Kickapoo, I love those songs. Um, thanks for joining me, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this. Hopefully this is not two separate videos because Mrs. Cincy called me in the middle of it. Um, who is Snoke? I think he's an old Republic Sith that has been hiding away for a while. Um, I think he's a new character. I do still think that Rey is a Palpatine, though. I'm calling it. Shout me out, please. Who was that? I don't know. Your comment just went like freaking bonkers across the screen. So I don't know who that was. Whoever said shout me. Henry Rodriguez. Shout you out, my friend. See you guys later. Thanks for joining me. Adios, Big Rigs Toy Show. Adios, Commander. Commando Danny. Mike Pereira. Gannon Fish. You guys are going. See you later. Thanks for joining me. Have fun collecting. And adios. And I gotta hit finish like three times. So here's a two sweet. I'm gonna two sweet the end button. Ready?